Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Chow the Chef. And when you see me, you better know a hot episode just rooted. So, as you can see today, I'm in the banana farm. And uh, the reason is because I want to show you how uh, our forefathers uh, used to make their the, uh, traditional mat. So, uh, I'm here, I want to get started. So, basically, what I'll be doing, I'll be kind of harvesting the dry banana leaves uh, this one i'll be using them to make uh, the mud so you better stay tuned i'm sure you want to see this and if you are new here kindly consider subscribing and uh, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that every time child the chef release a new video you'll be the first one to be this is what you used to serve as much as much as so guys this in our in our locality it is it, it go by the name Kivari Gigita or Kivari Gigita So guys let's get started So guys, you can see the dried banana leaf. Normally, before it dries up, it is like this. After it dries up, it looks like this. You can see the difference. So guys, I think this will be enough. So guys, the next step, I wanna separate the the leaf and be left with the stalk. Like and in the comment section, guys, let me know. Have you ever seen a mat made out of uh, drying banana leaf? separating the two this is what is left the stock so I wanna separate all of them so that I can be left with the banana leaf stock yeah. Can see guys uh, banana leaf stock so we are going uh, the next step we are going to leave them for like one day so that uh, they can actually dry up and from there we are going to uh, continue with the process of making uh, a banana leaf a uh, dry banana leaf mat so uh, that's the thing so this uh, one will be uh, put on the sun so that they can actually dry up So we're gonna leave them for one day so that they can actually dry up fully. So for one day and our banana is dried up. So guys, another requirement for this uh, procedure is uh, size of mini rope. And today I'll be showing you how to make uh, size of mini rope. So and here is my mother. Help me uh, to do the same. 
So can they say hi to the viewers? Hi viewers. Yeah, so let me show you. So this is just a, a scissor rope which is used in the supermarket to uh, trap things. So this one, the one, this is the one we'll be using to to make the the mini scissor rope. So you take part of it, then you roll it like this, as you can see in the video. And for the best result, you must do it in your dice. Like you see my mom doing. So and here we have it. So this is the size of rope you can see in the video. And this is the one we'll be using to make the 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 mat so kind of stay tuned and see how it will go so guys after preparing everything now it is time to bind our mat and uh, as you can see the purpose of the uh, size rope is to bind uh, the banana leaves uh, stock together as you can see in the video so uh, what you do it is to bind the the banana stock leaf uh, all around until they are tight and uh, so that they cannot fall apart or they cannot come out so as you can see in the video you align your banana stock in a in a in a in that manner then you come with the where with the size of rope uh, tighten them together so that they can be they can be bound together until you have a perfect uh, a perfect mat so you do this severally <coughs> uh, until you achieve uh, the required mat so guys you can see the mat is still in the making so generally what you do you you bind the the banana leaf stock with the the size of loops like you see me doing eventually we will have a very very nice uh, banana leaf mat like this guys So guys, as you can see, the mat is still forming. Yeah. Slowly and easy. So these are the, some of uh, the activities our forefathers used to engage in. I know some of you have found the mat that you buy in the supermarket. But as you can see, these are dried banana leaves. And this uh, size of mean low, everything here is organic. Yeah. So make sure when you visit uh, your village, you try this out. It's very engaging. Guys, I'm sure you are still uh, running the craft. Yeah, remember, I'm coming live from the village. So this is a, a mat made out of dried banana leaves. Yeah.
guys i'm in the final set i'm almost finalized it i'm almost finalizing it And just like that guys I'm done guys in case you don't know uh, in the Bible there is a verse where Jesus told a paralyzed man to take his mat and walk it was exactly like this in case you, you never got the memo it was exactly like this this, this is the, the complete uh, product and uh, I just made that more one because it was just for the purpose of uh, demonstration so during those early days, uh, no mass stress was not yet discovered. This is what used to serve as mass as muscle. So, and uh, you can, uh, with your your your, your mat, you can just place it on the floor like that. And you can maybe lie down and bask in the sun. And when you are done, you just wrap it up like this. And you are taking and you take your mat home. So. I'm sure you have learned one or two things about uh, this mat. So make sure you subscribe if this is the first time in this channel and turn on the notification bell so that every time in the future that I upload a video, you'll be the first one to be notified. See you next time. Bye bye.